Hai, asante sana. Asante uh, chairman wa Nairobi. Chairman wetu wa Westlands ambaye sasa hivi nasikia anaitwa OCBD. <laughs> Yeye ni majina mzuri, si ndio? Kwa hivyo tuko hapa kwa I have like dogo. Ni wapokeze hizi sawadi zenu ya kwamba kazi lazima tufanye pamoja tutembee pamoja na hii kile kitu tunafanya dunia hii if you have no personal discipline you are going nowhere hata kama watu kama wewe ni uko clever na mna gani personal discipline zero then you are not going anywhere sawa sawa if you maintain that count you can take that to the bank that you will win na utapata ile kitu yoyote unataka vitu mzuri zinakujanga kwa watu wenye wako tayari na wale wamechipanga si ndio kwa hivyo lazima kila wakati unajua the first time ni ingia tu kwa MP Westlands meeting ya kwanza nilifanya nilifanya na watu wa boda boda kwa sababu walikuwa na complain polisi na wasumbua na tukakaa nikawauliza maswali tatu kwa nini polisi wanawasumbua mko na uh, riders rises hamuna unakoanga na helmet ama hiyo uniform ya kuendesha pikipiki hamuna na hizo vitu singine. na nikaenda hata nikanunua vitabu sa traffic rules nikaleta nikawakawia si ndio nikaita mkutano na chama wa traffic mkutano hapo high rich na wengine wetu mlipofika hapo mliona polisi mkatoroka wakatoroka wakafika huko na wakaanza kufikiria ai na mheshimiwa anaweza tuliitia polisi tushike kweli so wakaanza kurudi mmoja mmoja wakiokopa pole pole wakarudi tukakaa chini all of us hata nikawaambia sasa toa uoga ka ngumu na muulize polisi ile swali ambayo una inakukera kwa moyo yako. Stimulizana na kayojibu. Na ikaanzia hapo na kasema in Westlands we are going to have discipline. Hatutakuwa na watu ambao wanaibia watu. Hatutakuwa na watu wanaendesha boda boda ambao ni wachafu. Lazima tuwe watu ambao personal hygiene iko iko one of the best things that you must have. Si ndio? Na tukakubaliana hivyo. Na tukasema tena munganiambia mheshimiwa pikipiki zenye tunaendesha si zetu. Na wakati mwingine ni bahati hata wakienda nyumbani na shilingi moja. Kama siku mbaya pesa yote unapelekea mwajiri wako unaenda nyumbani pila kitu. Nikatafuta pikipiki nikakuja nikawekea kwa kila shimo. Nikasema sasa BDN ndiye atafanya nini? Itawachenga. Mashimo mingi nikipita waliniambia mheshimiwa hiyo piki moja ilinunua piki piki tatu ilinunua piki piki ine, na wengine hata wameajiriwa kasi wanaendesha hizo piki piki. Kwa hivyo sisi yetu ni kusaidia ile mtu mwenye ako tayari kusaidiwa. When you are ready to be helped utasaidiwa. But always kama unataka kusaidiwa usikue kwa ground zero uwe pia umepika hatua yako umefika mahali fulani ukikuja ananiambia mheshimiwa mimi nimefanya ABCD lakini nimelemewa na hapa na hapa utasikizana i will see where i can help you si tuko na marafiki tunaweza ongea na wao wakuinue kidogo wakupeleke mbele sawa sawa kitu kingine nyinyi wana boda boda you are now a very important element in our economy Nobody can ignore you today including the government. Sasa hii wakipanga mambo yao hata kama wanapanga budget nyinyi mko ndani. Wanajua sekta ya boda boda wata collect how much money. Si ndio? If you are that important then even in the planning you must also be on that table. Si ndio? Musikwe tu kwa menu lazima mkuwe kwa planning. Because umkiwa kwa menu kazi yenu ni kukulwa, hamwezi fanya kitu kingine. But ukiwa kwa planning, 
wewe ndio utakuwa na unafanya hii mambo yanafanyika unafanya hapa unafinya hapa mnasimama mnasema sisi kama sekta ya boda boda faita yetu ni nini huwa tunalipa ushuru na barabara hamchachengewa hata leni ya kuendesha boda boda mambo yengine polisi wanawashika kiolela mambo kama hayo si ndio ama mnaambiwa msiende hapa msiingie hapa hivyo na kitu kingine ambayo natakana tufanye kama boda boda just discipline our members discipline them because kama mtu anatoka shimo yenu ana misbehave anaharibia hiyo shimo yote shima kwa sababu mtu akiona mtu kama ametoka shimo fulani na yeye ndio ame, amepepa mtu mwenye anaipa simu za watu itasemekana tu wale watu wa shimo fulani ni wakora hata kama ni mkora ni mmoja na tuliongea tukakubaliana ya kwamba don't allow people you don't know kuja kuingia kati yenu ile mtu mwenye anakuja you must make sure una report yeye mpaka kwa OCS ajue ya kwamba there's a new member amejoin ni shimo ametoka wapi na mna conduct yake yote si ndio you must be your brother's keeper watch anafanya nini akitoka hapa ameenda na msipoona kama anarudi you must find out what has happened to him maybe amepata ajali ama maybe amekuwa kidnapped na wakora ama at least something has happened so that we know how to address and address the issue so sisi tukiwa hapa mimi huwa na kila mara tukifanya anajali masuala yenu na mimi mkinituma mahali ujumbe yenu mimi nafikisha sawa sawa hata mambo ya sheria mkitaka turekebisha sheria mahali ambayo pengine mnafikiria haiwasaidii vizuri we can do that alafu ikuje hiyo sheria ikiwe friendly kwenu ya kwamba boda boda riders they need to also have a right Uh, they are right on the road wakuwe na waheshimiwe wakiwa kwa barabara sio mtu na kongwa alafu eh imambe naenda hivyo so we just also need to have that kind of discipline na nilienda nje ya Rwanda Rwanda wako na boda boda lakini the discipline they have hata akifika kwa traffic light kama traffic light ime change wanasimama they don't our, our pit light wanasimama pale mpaka traffic light change watoke na magari waende eh unajua some of those are small small details but sometimes unaweza kuwa na haraka unaruka lights na unakutana na gari ilikuwa inatoka huko inakupita na wewe so we just need to observe some of the small details lakini sinaleta hasara sinaweza leta hasara kubwa unaweza kuwa na haraka na uishie tayo hapa Naweza kuwa na subira na wewe ndio utafika na utafikisha huyo mtecha wako bila wasiwasi. Si ndio ni kweli? Kwa hivyo mimi nataka tukianza leo hiyo safari yangu ya kwenda Nairobi bado iko. Na wakati huu wakati huu tumekubaliana ya kwamba hii safari liwe liwalo lazima itaishia wapi? Kwa Debe. Haitaishia mahali pengine tutaminyana na wanaume wale watakuja wengine na wanaume na wanawake wale watakuwa kwa hiyo msafara nasema tutasa, tutaenda sambamba na mwenye atakuwa na kifua kubwa afmaliza hiyo safari si ndio na tutajua sisi tutawabwaka sisi ni kama Arsenal lazima tubwake watu <laughs> si unajua Wanajua wengine wanaringa hapa lakini walimaliza namba saba huko nyuma. Ni eh? eh. Sasa sisi kama tulimaliza hapa mbele kidogo tunajua tuko sawa. Hii msimu mwingine pengine mtu wa Mungu atasimama na sisi. Yes. Si kweli? kweli. Eh, lazima mambo tuangalie. Mambo mmesema mambo ya michezo. Let me tell you, mkitaka kupanga tournament. Msipange tournament ya kwenda kuchezwa for one month. Just organize a tournament of one day. Nasikia? One day na mkienda kucheza hiyo siku ni knockout from the from the moment mnaanza kucheza. Ukishindwa unatoka. Ukishindwa unatoka. 
na baadaye jioni kama inafika saa hii zile timu zimepaki wacheze semi final alafu wacheze final mumalize siku because you are busy people how are you going to run a tournament for one month sindio you have to play it for just one day na hiyo rules you amend the rules kama mpira na chaswanga 90 minutes you play it for 45 minutes both sides you just fight this side just takangapi itakangapi mpira imeenda hata ikifika sama kama rugby wao wanacheza wanafika wanasema you are playing 15 minutes 7 and a half 7 and a half inabadilishwa mambo yanaendelea si ndio yes. as long as the tournament has happened yes. and that's the way mnaweza fanya siku moja tu wazeme tu leo tunaenda kufanya team sikuje muanze mapema knockout 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 alafu baadaye sile zimefuzu sinakuja kwa finals si ni kweli hiyo ni maoni yangu lakini you can implement or you can ignore <laughs> sawa sawa kwa hivyo hiyo mkifanya na hiyo siku mkiniita mimi nitakuwa pale nitakuja ku nitakuja kuwasindikiza and I'll come and support you sawa kitu ya mwisho kabisa nataka zile nani vile chairman amesema hapa just encourage our members to have a riders license if they are training people please go and train usikuwe na haraka hii kitu ni ya siku ngapi tu umemaliza uko na license mfukoni utaendesha you will be confident utaendelea na mambo yako sawa kwa hivyo lazima tuanze na yourself hata mkijoin is sako sako is self discipline if you have to contribute you must contribute don't say leo siku ilikuwa mbaya hapana unajua that's why waindi wanatushindanga kwa sababu indians kama ameamua ku save 1000 every day hata nini kutokee ata save hiyo 1000 yes kuza so if you are supposed to contribute 100 shillings please contribute that 100 shillings usifike mahali useme leo nililemewa sichui njaa ilikuja hapana eh hata kama unanulianga wasichana chips kidogo punguza chips hii economy ni mbaya nunulia tu mmoja usinulia wasichana watatu wa ine kwa siku moja eh kwani huko na nguvu gani ya kwenda na wasichana wangapi wangapi mwingine amengoja kwa nyumba na huko anapambana huko nje eh hiyo unakata kidogo kwa sababu uchumi ni mbaya akiendesha anataka kuleta unaanza kuweka mistari lakini punguza mwambie leo uh, mimi niko kwa likizo kidogo hii mambo tutafanya baadaye sawa on a rain day unaweza fanya lakini mambo ingine saa hii kaa jini ufanye budget yako vitu singine anza kukata kabisa because uchumi ni mbaya ni kweli ama wrong ukweli hii uchumi ni mbaya sana imefinya hata sisi siku hizi tunaenda mpaka tarehe 15 tunacholipa mshahara so if you can see parliament has not paid salaries up to 15 na wengine si mnaona kwa hivyo we must now start looking at you adjust ana usikuwe na aibu yoyote because when you adjust you are making your things to work and now survive because ukiendelea kuenda na hiyo matumizi yenye umekuwa nayo hapo nyuma kama mambo iko sawa utakuja kwama na usikwame as a human being you must continue as a father your children see you wewe ndiye Mungu wao because and i believe akiuliza chochote you will provide so don't let down your children don't let down your family and don't let down yourself sawa so, kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kuongea sana i just want to encourage you muendelee na hii mfumo mko nayo na i'm telling you if you count your days at one time utajipata you are owners of houses in nairobi yes you will have graduated from a motorbike kwa kuendesha gari na baadaye you can even buy buses sianze kuendea na zikienda kila mahali si ndio it, it, it is possible with planning kama msha plan muweke tu viwango mkiseme within this time we should have moved within this time we shall have done abcd 
even if it has a personal development or at a group level ndio mchuo ya kwamba anything with the planning it never fails it may slow down it may delay but it will come sendio bila mpango hakuna kitu hakuna mahali unaenda you must sit down plan and put your budget so that you know very well hapa kama kuna shinda you can just remove some items from your budget alafu uendelee na ile mpango ingine. the most important thing they must always go on life can never stop however bad it is and let me tell you this mambo ya hali ngumu ya ujumi it is not only happening in kenya is happening all over the world including hata ukienda america wako na hiyo shida ukienda wapi hiyo shida ileto na corona bado inaendelea and it will go on maybe for another 10 or for so years ndio tuwepuke hiyo mambo but first of all we must adjust ourselves and live